Mechatronic engineering is a hybrid of two different types of engineering, mechanical and electronic. And when you see systems like a robot or a machine that's automated, then you see the electronic side of it as well as the mechanical and the physical side of it. And a mechatronic engineer is somebody that pulls both skill sets together. We're a firm believer in the way that we deliver education. So we believe that you learn by doing. And what we do is we bring you into the labs. We have different project spaces for you to try out all the theory that you've learned so that you can learn in a very practical and meaningful way. The facilities that we have here, especially for doing practicals, are state of the art. So we've got an automation lab, we've got a PLC programming lab, we also have a robotics and integrated manufacturing unit that we have here, and we've got several really innovative project spaces as well. What we do is you learn each of the different subjects with your lecturer, but we provide the opportunity then for you to pull it all together in an industrial-based problem, and you get a project module in both second year and third year. Once the student is finished their third year in mechatronic engineering, they'll have the opportunity to go on and either do a one-year 60 credit add-on in mechatronic engineering at level eight, or they can do a two-year add-on with a nine-month work placement built in in the area of robotics and automation. The two-year add-on will be accredited with Engineers Ireland in the next couple of years. So the level seven is accredited with Engineers Ireland as an associate engineer. And what this does is it gives international recognition to your qualification. So it allows you, after you finish completing your level seven, to travel with your degree and it'll be internationally recognized. When you come in to study mechatronic engineering, the first semester you're mixed with all other engineers and you learn engineering in a very general way so that you get exposure to the different disciplines. And after that then, in the second semester, you begin to specialise into the area of mechanical, electronic and mechatronic. And as the years progress, you go more and more into the mechatronic, the robotics and the automation space. There's lots of job opportunities for mechatronic engineering graduates. Any place in manufacturing that has robots or that needs to automate their processes requires a mechatronic engineer. Industry at the moment is moving in the space of highly automated and sophisticated robotic systems and therefore there's a large demand in industry for this particular skill set. So much so that even with all of our graduates coming in from the CAO, once they graduate, there isn't enough of them to actually fulfill the job opportunities that are there. We've went online to help deliver some of these programs as well to target people in industry. And we get over 200 applicants every single year on the mechatronic suite of programs. So the type of student that should consider studying mechatronic engineering, firstly, they should have a liking, shall we say, of maths and sciences and an inquiring mind as to how things work. Also, if they like technology, and especially in the area of robotics and automation and finding out how those things work and programming them, then mechatronic engineering is the space for you.